Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vidhi and I like talking about all things beauty. So it's April and that only means one thing. It's time for the Sephora VIB sale. So I thought I would actually make a video and give you some of my recommendations for the upcoming sale. Now this is not going to be an extensive video looking into all the various categories of products across skincare, makeup, hair care and so on just because I find that that becomes a little too extensive for me and potentially even for you, I would think, because no one really needs that many products. Having said that, I'm always available in the comments if you need specific recommendations. But for today's video, I'm going to focus on sort of the top 15 recommendations across Sephora's offerings that I would uh, suggest for this upcoming sale. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we'll start with makeup, of course, because it's Sephora and starting at the top, uh, the first product that I recommend for this sale is the Dr. Brand Pores No More Primer. Now, this is a pore filling primer. If you have texture uh, such as pores uh, around your nose or if you have oily skin um, and you need a little bit of help in the T-zone, this is an absolutely fabulous product to use. I find this to be one of the most effective products uh, in terms of actually visibly reducing uh, the look of pores on my skin. I don't necessarily use this every day. I only use this for special occasions because it does have a tendency to fill with some products, not all of them, and I haven't been able to recognize which ones, unfortunately, but it can be a little tricky to use sometimes. Despite all of that, I think it's an absolutely fabulous product and one of the most effective products in the pore filling category to the point that I don't have just one tube, I actually have three tubes. There was a point actually when uh, Alta used to give out samples of these with a couple orders and I remember with every order that I placed, I always, always selected uh, this as the sample. So that should tell you all that you need to know. Now, I own a few different foundations from Sephora and I will link a video where I review all of the foundations that I own up here. But for the purpose of today's video, I wanted to pick one that's sort of most versatile in the sense that you could wear it if you're going for a casual outing, if you're going for a more formal outing, or if you just want something for every day. And for me personally, that has been the Fenty Skin Tint. This is a skin tint that doesn't have too much coverage, but at the same time, this has buildable coverage. It has sort of a natural to soft matte finish, I would say. So it's really, really great for uh, oily skin, but it can also really work well for drier skin types if you just prep your skin well. So that's the reason why I say that this is a very versatile foundation that can be customized to whatever occasion or whatever your skin type might be. Another motivation for me to pick this, of course, was that uh, Fenty Beauty actually recently launched in India. And I know a lot of you guys from India still watch my content. And thank you so much for that, by the way. And I wanted to just give this a shout out in case you were looking uh, to purchase something from Fenty Beauty. So the third product that I have is a bronzer. Now, this is the Say Beauty bronzer. I own a number of different bronzers, um, especially cream bronzers. I find that cream bronzers are a true weakness for me. But across all of uh, the bronzers that I own, I find the Say Beauty bronzer, again, to be extremely versatile. Versatile in the sense that it can be used by a complete beginner because it's not so heavily pigmented and it's very, very easy to blend. But at the same time, it is a very effective bronzer. So for the more advanced makeup users, I think it can still serve that purpose of, you know, truly bronzing up the skin and giving the face a little bit of a shape, basically doing what a bronzer does. 
best. For me personally, this works both as a bronzer as well as a contour because it's kind of a neutral shade, I would say. It's in the shade medium bronze. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. So it works perfectly in the middle and you don't necessarily need two products then. And the fact that it is uh, so much of product in the one packaging um, is also a big bonus. I will add though that this does fade through the day. It doesn't have a true lasting power, but I don't mind that because it fades quite nicely through the day and um, it looks nice as it fades. Now moving into blushes. Now blushes are a true weakness for me. You know, honestly, I feel like every makeup product that I pick up is a weakness for me or every makeup category that I pick up is a weakness for me. So I shouldn't really be saying that. But anyhow, I have three different options for blushes here. I will start off with uh, one that you probably expect if you've been watching any of my content and that is the Glossier Cloud Paint. Once again, amazing products, but amazingly versatile products. But let me start at the beginning. These are very pigmented blushes, but they're extremely easy to blend. And they work very well, both um, over cream as well as over powder products. I will say the darker shades like the shade Haze, for example, can be a little bit too pigmented and can be a little tricky to work with. But for the most part, because they're so easily blendable, I still think these are very, very beginner friendly. And that's where I say they're highly versatile. The other thing that makes them really unique is their lasting power. These are one of the only liquid blushes, I would say, that have true, true lasting power uh, through the day. Oftentimes when I go out for an event, uh, you know, that usually lasts beyond four to five hours, I will wear one of these and I will just layer a powder blush over them and these will absolutely last through the night. My makeup will stay put all throughout and even when I'm home, my blush will look like I have just applied it. So they're blendable, they're easy to use, they have lasting power. Oh, and they will adapt to the finish of your foundation. So if, for example, you have a glowy foundation on, these will look glowy. If you have a matte foundation on, these will look matte. So truly, they're the perfect blush. Now, coming back to why I say they're versatile is because oftentimes I've actually used these even as an eyeshadow, especially the shade dusk i really like using the shade dusk on my eyes as sort of a warm brown shade and i'll quickly swatch all the shades that i have for you in case you're interested in picking one of these up so here are the four shades that i have um first up is haze this is the one that i would say is sort of the trickiest um and tricky again, relatively, it's still easy to blend, but because it is so pigmented and so dark, uh, sometimes it can, you can go overboard easily. Next is Puff. Puff is a very uh, nice powder pink. Then there's Beam, which is a nice uh, sort of orangey peach, I would say. And then finally, there's Dusk, um, which is a nice warm brown, but not not exactly a bronzer shade so i've tried using it as a bronzer fyi and i don't think it works quite well at least on my skin but maybe on your skin type uh, it works differently and you could use this as a bronzer i personally love using it as an eyeshadow so the next blush that i have is a little bit easier to work with uh, than the glossier cloud paints and again i keep saying this but uh, Easy means relatively, I personally do think that the Glossier Cloud Paints are very easy to work with, but if maybe that kind of pigmentation overwhelms you or you know you, you don't even want to try to go into that territory, I got you covered. I have two more options actually. So the first option that I have is the Merit uh, blushes. So these are called the Merit Flush Balms. I have these in two shades. There's Fox and I have it in Apre. So I find that these, again, very, very easy to use, super easy uh, to blend. And they do have a little bit of um, a dewy finish. I would say probably somewhere in the middle of a natural finish to a dewy finish. 
uh, but really really quite nice i would say on the cheeks the downside of course this comes with is that they don't really last uh, through the day they do wear off but again they wear off quite nicely so for me as long as a product wears off nicely through the day i really don't mind it for everyday wear i would however mind it if for example i'm going for an event but if you're a beginner and you're intimidated by the pigmented cream blushes these are a really nice option the two shades that i own as i mentioned are fox which is more of a nudish brick i would say and the second one is apre which is more of a berry toned shade the final blush recommendations that i have are from nude sticks now the nude sticks uh, cream blushes are an absolute old favorite of mine and these are the three full size uh, products that i own i also own some of the minis as well so basically when i own more than one of any product you should know that i really really like it and the great part about the nude sticks blushes is that they come in two finishes they have a dewy version which is their bloom collection and then they have the nudies matte which are their matte versions i personally prefer the matte versions a little bit more because they are a little bit more versatile uh, to use you can use them over a powder and they are perfectly fine the bloom on the other hand i find that because they are so dewy it doesn't work as well over a powder and so for me personally i do reach for the matte more often also the matte version have a little bit of a more lasting power but again very similar to the merit blushes super easy to blend not very pigmented definitely definitely beginner friendly um, won't quite last as well as the glossier cloud paints but will still serve the purpose and again i'll quickly swatch the shades that i have so here are the three shades that i own in the full size uh, starting here first up i have the shade bohemian rose this is the one in the bloom collection or the dewy collection that they have and i really really love this shade but the only thing i don't like is the fact that it's so dewy but in all honesty it is my favorite shade of all of the shades that i have of nude sticks then i have the shade naughty and spice this is a more muted pink and so it's a lot easier to work with in terms of creating different looks and i recently did create a look with this one and i will link that video up here and then the final shade that i own is this bright orange shade in picante which is um, alana alana davison's collaboration with nude sticks and in all honesty i don't use this as much as i should just because it's so bright and such a true orange but i have to admit that it does look quite nice uh, during the summer time so maybe this year i will pull it out more often um another thing i just want to add quickly here is that uh, the bloom the bloom collection or at least the one shade that i have in the bloom collection is a little bit more prone to sort of melting during um, the summer time and because of the heat i haven't had this issue with the matte shades so that's why i'm inclined to think that this is specific to the bloom collection but uh, just something to bear in mind i can still make it work i can just i just pick it up with a brush and it's fine but just something to know if you are going to be purchasing these The seventh product that I have here is a powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrushed powder in the shade medium, and I recently mentioned this in a video, and um, I mentioned that how I really like this powder because of two reasons. One, this is the this is probably one of the only powders that truly truly blurs my pores. No product is going to completely even out your pores, but there are products that can help blur your pores and i personally do reach for a lot of those because that's my one key issue that i have when doing makeup so as i was saying two reasons that i love this product the first reason is that it truly truly blurs my pores and it's one of the only products that does it so well 
and the second reason is that in addition to blurring my pores it actually provides oil control through the day so i really really enjoy using this powder i have the mini right now but i will most definitely upgrade to the full size once this runs out i don't find this to be drying at all but i know that some folks with drier skin types do find this to be drying so bear that in mind uh, maybe give it a go if you can um, in store before you actually buy it in case you do have dry skin but for me personally and if for example if you have oily combination skin i have absolutely no reason not to recommend this for you now the next product that i have is an eye shadow now as i have mentioned in the past uh, i personally like just a wash of color all over my lids and more often than not i reach for a warm brown shade whether it's for an everyday look or even if uh, i'm going out to an event that's just my preference and for that reason i absolutely love uh, the merit solo shadows specifically the merit solo shadow in the shade mid century this is one that i have been reaching for constantly and it's quite ironic that i've been reaching for it so often because initially when i got it i did not quite enjoy these and the reason for that is that they are described as cream to powder eye shadows and when you think of a cream eye shadow you think that it's supposed to be super pigmented but to the absolute contrary these are very very low on pigmentation so that also actually makes them very beginner friendly but because they are so low on the pigmentation you do have to go over your eyelids a few times before the color actually shows up which honestly is fine by me because i really like this shade i really like the finish i like the wash of color that it provides with the ease of use that it has and finally this is one of the only eye shadows that does not crease on my lids i have oily eyelids and there's very very few eye shadows that won't crease on my lids if i don't have an eye shadow primer on and this happens to be one of them so it actually lasts really nicely through the day and that's one of the top reasons why i reach for this so often the next and final product that i have um is a lip balm now if you ask me to be honest in terms of lip products as a category in general go to the drug store there's so many options available at the drug store starting from lipsticks all the way to lip balms to lip glosses that i really don't think it's necessary to spend um more money at sephora for a lip product but having said that of course treat yourself if you want to i do it too all the time and um you know go to sephora and get yourself a lip product and if you'd like to maybe consider this one so this is the bobby brown extra lip tint these are actually lip balms with just a little hint of color in them but because they're so comfortable and so easy to use so moisturizing with just that light hint of color i reach for them very very often So if you're really looking for a lip product in Sephora and maybe you wanted a lip balm this is a great option. Of course these aren't going to last by any means they're probably going to rub off in a matter of 1 or 2 hours but that's okay that comes with the territory of a lip balm. Now that actually wraps up all of the makeup recommendations that I had. I just wanted to quickly touch on mascara because I think that's pretty much the only category of products that I did not cover. Now again for mascaras also I feel like just go to the drug store. There's so many amazing options over there at a much affordable price point uh, that Personally I just prefer to shop for a mascara at the drug store. I own very very few mascaras that are actually available at Sephora and they're nice but I have much better drug store mascaras. So that's just my personal preference but if you really wanted a recommendation and if you really twisted my arm and you know asked for one I would say the Benefit Roller Lashes is one of my favorites at Sephora. This is a lengthening mascara. This is not a volumizing mascara. So if you're looking for something volumizing, 
look elsewhere but if you're looking for lengthening i think this is a fantastic lengthening mascara and i really really like it it stays on through the day it comes off very easily so it ticks all of the boxes for a mascara next moving in to skincare i think we're on the 10th product now i want to say i have two skincare products here um the first one again i've mentioned countless number of times on this channel and it is the ceramidin uh, skin barrier moisturizing cream by dr chart this is a household favorite i love this my husband loves this and we have gone through countless tubes of this moisturizer i have mentioned how this is like a hug for your skin it's super super moisturizing very very thick but yet it doesn't end up sticky on the skin I absolutely love using this during the winter time but more often than not because it is so expensive and because this is pretty much the only moisturizer my husband will use I usually reserve this for him and the only time I do use this is when we travel so that we can just have one moisturizer between the two of us but if I had to I would use this in a heartbeat The next product I have is more of a treatment I would say it is the Paula's Choice 1% retinol treatment. Now this is a product that I bought in the previous Sephora VIB sale and I have not been disappointed. This is truly one of the most effective over the counter retinol products that I have tried. Now I must admit that I haven't tried a whole lot of over the counter retinol products but I have been on tretinoin in the past and if you ask me I think this is actually even stronger than the 0.1% tretinoin 0.1 yeah 0.1% tretinoin uh, that I have used in the past. I have been using this for a good 4 or 5 months I want to say at this point but it's only now that I've been able to graduate and bring it up to using it up to 3 times a week. Up until now I was only using it 2 times a week because it is effective but with that it comes that it can also be quite irritating. So I would not recommend this if you're a beginner by any means. but if you're looking for a step up and if you have been using retinol for a while this is a really really great uh, retinol recommendation um i found that my skin uh, absolutely looked much healthier once i started using it there was most certainly a glow and i always find that retinol really normalizes my skin i have oily combination skin as i have mentioned and when i use retinol i find that it actually regulates the amount of oil that my skin produces so i definitely saw that effect with uh, this retinol cream as well so overall it really um, does the job of a retinol but it can be a little bit too much so just if you do get this uh, tread carefully and go very very slow maybe start with just once a week and then build up from there now just very quickly if you were looking for a sunscreen recommendation i would highly recommend uh, looking into some k beauty products and i'll link a video up here that i recently did about some k beauty products because i find that um, while there are some good sunscreens at sephora k beauty truly surpasses all of them and if i had to i would exclusively use k beauty sunscreens if you're looking for cleanser recommendations i would go towards jordan samuel skincare and i will link a video up here where i go through some of the jordan samuel skincare cleansers that i have tried um and finally if you're looking for some hydration again go towards k beauty products because you really really cannot find anything better now moving in to hair care so first up i have well i have two products but i've counted these as one because i because they're both scalp care so we're cheating a little bit but i think that's okay Uh, so I have two products. The first one is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Build Up Detox Spray. This has both AHAs as well as BHAs in it, and it really, really helps cleanse your scalp well. Just 
quickly going back i do have curly hair naturally these uh, my hair are currently chemically treated and that's why they are straight but when i used to have curly hair i did follow the curly girl method and all of that but the main issue that i had with the curly girl method was that the cleansers that you use in that particular method are not sufficient to actually uh, get rid of the build up that uh, builds up on your scalp and that's why i found that um there was not a method that did very well for me personally i found that i started to get a lot of hair loss and so on um and it was only later on when i realized that it was because i was not actually cleaning my scalp well is when i actually got into a lot of scalp care so long winded story to tell you that scalp care is actually really really important if you have any kind of hair issues because that's where your hair are sort of growing out from right so you want to make sure that your scalp is well cared for and for me the two ways that i care for my scalp is one by using something that actually exfoliates it to get rid of any build up that there may be and two is by using some kind of scalp care serum now the ordinary has two scalp care serums uh, one i believe is a hydrating one and the second one is the multi peptide serum for hair density i prefer using this one because i have an oily scalp so the hydration one doesn't really do much um this one on the other hand is supposed to improve hair growth whether it does that i really couldn't tell you um i'm not very perceptive of these kind of products it's really hard for me to tell personally but the good part about this product is that it doesn't leave a residue on my scalp it doesn't make my scalp sticky so i do enjoy using this and i will continue to use this that sort of ticks a box for me that yes i am doing something for my scalp this on the other hand i know is super effective because when i use this i can really actually see that i have more volume on the scalp like my hair is actually lifted off my scalp and it really really helps um and i highly highly recommend this i probably use this maybe two times a month or so anything more than that and i think that it actually might be a little too drying personally the next hair care product that i have is the olaplex number no. 6 bond smoother now this is a leave in conditioner again that i have spoken about countless number of times i think this is an absolutely fabulous leave in conditioner if you're looking for something to hydrate your hair without actually weighing them down I find that this really really softens my ends for me and provides me with just the amount of moisture that I need. Um as I've mentioned previously, I will change my shampoo, I will change my conditioner and I'm pretty frivolous with those, but this one I keep constantly coming back to. And the best part is again that you don't need a whole lot. I've been using this for a few months now and I've only gone through about 1/3 of the bottle. So good value as well if you're looking for a leave-in conditioner. Okay, home stretch. Uh I have the last two products and these two products are in body care. Um the first one is a moisturizer. This is the Sol de Janeiro uh boom boom cream. Now, if you're looking for a moisturizer, this is probably not the best. But if you're looking for a fabulously scented moisturizer, this is amazing. This smells like vanilla, caramel, milk all thrown into one and I'm absolutely in awe of the scent. And now that it is a little bit warmer, I have to say that this by itself is also good enough for me, but I don't have very dry skin on my body. If you do, I don't think this would be enough. I don't think this is actually a very good moisturizer per se. but it smells absolutely fabulous so i like using this especially in the daytime uh when i'm going out and then i layer it with um another perfume maybe and that combination it just lasts all day long for me so the final product that i have again is two products so a little bit of cheating but i think it's okay because it's the same product in two variants and that is the replica uh, perfumes i have two here i have lazy sunday morning and i have coffee break 
Now, coffee break is a very unisex scent. Um, this smells, I would say, of lavender and maybe a creamy lavender. So a little bit of vanilla thrown in there. It doesn't smell of coffee at all. But because it's unisex, it's sort of shared between me and my husband. So it's been a nice value for sure. And I also find that this absolutely lasts all day long. It doesn't have quite as much throw, I would say, but um, in terms of lasting power, this is really, really great. Another great perfume in the same range is uh, Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning. Now, this is a more springtime fragrance for sure. I reached for coffee break a lot during the winter, but lately I've been reaching for Lazy Sunday Morning. And Lazy Sunday Morning is a very floral fragrance. This smells of lilies and roses very very much a feminine scent not a unisex scent but if you're looking for a floral scent that is not too feminine but yet sweet i would say give this uh, give this a sniff and maybe uh, get your hands on it in terms of throw it definitely has very good throw better than coffee break but in terms of lasting power i would say that coffee break uh, lasts better this will last for a few hours, but definitely not uh, through the entire day. So that actually wraps up all of the 15-ish products that I would recommend um, for the upcoming uh, Sephora VIB sale. Now to tell you just a little bit about my wish list for this sale. So as a true beauty enthusiast, I of course have a very long Sephora wish list, but this Sephora sale, I want to try to really shop less um, just because we have a few things coming up uh, our way this year. Exciting, but also expensive. So I want to be um, a little more mindful and prioritize those because, you know, it's okay not to have an unlimited budget and it's normal not to have an unlimited budget. So sometimes it's fine to assign yourself or actually you should assign yourself a budget to shop and maybe only really pick up things that you need so at least that's what i'm going to do i'm really going to question myself at anything that i add to my cart and make sure that's really what i need and not something i want but anyhow um let me tell you a little bit more about my uh, my wish list so first up i have the glossier stretch fluid foundation because I really love the stretch concealer so I think I'm gonna really like this um, I believe it has a natural matte finish and it has buildable medium coverage so that sounds completely um, like what I look for in a foundation so if I do end up getting a foundation that's probably one of the ones I'm gonna be looking at um, then I have um, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder since I've mentioned in the previous videos how I tried the, the Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder and I wasn't quite as impressed with that and I've heard better things about the Huda Beauty Powder for oily skin specifically so that's one I am interested in and they do have um, a, a mini version so maybe I'll consider that um then the other thing is the house labs triclone skin tech um concealer now i am in the market for a concealer because i only have one and that shade is not the perfect perfect match for me i feel and that's why i'm in the market for a concealer but i have been sort of toying with a few different concealers the house labs uh triclone skin tech is one of them the other one I'm considering is the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Concealer. And then the third one I'm considering is the Huda Beauty. I think it's the Faux Filter Concealer. It's the one that's a little bit more hydrating again. Um, so if you've tried any of these, I'd love to hear uh, down below what are your thoughts on them. Again, I it may be that I don't end up purchasing any of these, but um, it's good to have uh, it for reference in the future. I will, however, likely pick up a ceramidin uh, tube because, again, as I mentioned, it is expensive and we do go through countless tubes every year. So I want to make sure that we have a backup on hand and a backup at a better price. Ooh, the Glossier Cloud Paint Gel Cream Bronzer. 
now since you already heard me speak about uh, the the blushes i don't think i need to tell you why i'm so interested in the bronzer but that's definitely on top of my list um then i actually am in the market for a perfume because this i think is going to run out pretty soon as i mentioned both me and my husband use this so uh, between the two us uh, between the two of us we'd likely we'll likely go through this uh, fairly soon and it would be nice to have a backup perfume available and for that i am considering the maison louis marie uh, Mary 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 probably so Maison Louis Mary uh, number 4 Valencourt perfume because that's a nice sandalwood uh, scent that uh, I think both of us could end up using so that may be something I do end up purchasing and uh, another thing that I will likely end up purchasing is uh, the ordinary hair peptide serum um just because This goes on sale on the Desium website only in November and until then um I don't have a whole lot left so I will need another one so I again might as well get it while it is on discount and then finally I have the makeup by Mario soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer which has been on my list since forever but I don't know if I'll get it because I do have a number of different cream bronzers but then again maybe i will get something just so that you know i don't have that itch to go out and purchase anything after the sale so let's see what i actually do end up getting but like i said i'm going to be mindful and make sure that everything that i get is actually something that i need and not just something i want uh, because um there's other expenses that i need to be mindful of and those absolutely take priority over these so with that uh, that's all i have for you today do let me know if you have uh, some recommendations for the upcoming sale and what you are planning to buy in the upcoming sale i would absolutely love to hear from you uh but in the meanwhile i hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for spending your time with me i will see you next time bye bye